We've just now heard a number of highly emotional statements, categorical assessments and far-reaching conclusions related to the signing today by Russia's president of decrees recognizing the Lugansk and Donetsk People's Republics. The DPR and the LPR declared their independence from Ukraine back in 2014. But we only recognize them now, despite the higher level of support for doing so, both in the republics themselves and in Russian society from the very beginning. Time and again, we firmly asked Kiev to listen to the aspirations of um, the people living in Donbass and the Russian-speaking residents of the country to respect their entirely legitimate desire to use their mother tongue and to teach their children in that language, and also to honor the memories of those who liberated the land from fascists rather than those who fought on the side of fascists and had a hand in the killing of hundreds of thousands, pe thousands of people during the Second World War. We were unfortunately mistaken. Kiev not only very quickly returned to its bellicose rhetoric and continued the shelling of civilians, but also did everything it could to sabotage and ultimately destroy the Minsk agreements. Most importantly here is the flat refusal of Kiev to speak directly with the representatives of Donetsk and Lugansk, despite the fact that this requirement is a central structural element of the package of measures in all other conflicts, be it Libya, Syria or Yemen. We all demand and call for direct dialogue between the parties to the conflict. And it's only in Ukraine, for example, the Ukraine that is for some reason an exception to this rule. We are forced to note the extremely negative role played in all of this by our Western colleagues led by the USA. Instead of forcing Kiev to implement its obligations, they have merely been openly egging Ukraine on, repeating the uh, meaningless mantra that the obligations under the Minsk agreement are not being implemented by Russia, which, as we've repeatedly underscored, is not even a party to the Minsk agreements. Moreover, while uh, for the last few weeks already whipping up unfounded panic around the allegedly impending Russian invasion of Ukraine, our Western colleagues have been unashamedly cramming weapons into the country, sending instructors there, essentially nudging the Ukrainians who have concentrated uh, an 120,000 strong military contingent along the contact line towards an armed provocation against Donbass.